there's always something unusual happening in the zoo. It ain't boring, I can tell you. Got a one meter long brown snake here, the second most deadly snake in the world, that somehow squeezed through into the Thai cobra cage, and they're the most deadly snake in Asia. I've got to go in there and get him out, and he's pinned himself here, so it's going to be exciting. Could be a bit of fun here, I tell you. Now, the two cobras, hopefully, behind this door. <laughs> There's two doors to the cage. <laughs> now, I've only got one hand free, and I've got two cobras. The brown snake, I don't worry about till I climb into the cage. I can already hear them hissing. And the thing is, once I open the door, I'm trapped here with them. There they are. Oh, it's nice and easy made, isn't it, eh? Shh, that's good. Oh, that was easier than I thought. One of the reasons probably is because it's still a bit cool this morning. There he is, hissing away. Look at him, eh? That's the most deadly cobra in Asia. Ah, oh, that's good, lads. That bit was easy. I'm trapped in here about one metre square if I'm lucky, and they're very fast. Oops, there he goes. Now, I've just grabbed his tail. Oh, look out, there he comes. Even though he's not a really big one, he still packs a punch. There you go. One bag, three snakes. <laughs> what a lot of people don't realise is that all the Australian deadly snakes are related to the cobras. In fact, the common brown snake's Latin name is Pseudonia, which is false cobra, because the common cobra's Latin name is Naya Naya. And if you look in here, there's a snake. Looks just like a brown snake there. Until I give it a bit of a scratch, and you'll see it's a cobra. Even though cobras and brown snakes come from the same stock some 15 million years ago, there's a bit of a difference between them. Cobras are what I call a totally defensive snake. They sort of stand up, let you know they're there. Brown snakes run away. And only if you get too close, they'll defend themselves then. But they're very similar, even though they're different. I'll just show you. Here we go. It's a cobra. Looks very similar to Australian snakes. Oh, do you see the venom squared out then? They've got fairly long fangs also for their size. He's really pushing the venom out. Oh, look at it. That's the, vang that's the fang right there. See the venom coming out. That's venom on the stick. He's already shot out quite a bit already. I mean, they're not long fangs by any stretch of the imagination. If you compare them to a viper, they've got tiny fangs. But it's a poison that counts. What I'm about to do, you can't do with a brown snake, even though he's related to the cobra. If I come over the top really, really gently, he can only actually strike flat forward, basically. So if I touch him on the back of the head like that and push him down, I can push his head to the ground, pin him down and pick him up. Now that can't be done with a brown snake. Kids, don't do this. <laughs> this takes years of experience. What I've got here is a little brown snake, distant cousin to the cobra. And unlike the cobra, so he'll stand up just like the cobra does, but he sits up with an S-bend in his neck and strikes, like I said, like a bolt of lightning. So you can't touch him on the head and bring him down. They're much more lively than the cobra, always trying to escape unless they've got no escape, then they'll actually defend themselves. Gotta be very careful when you do this too, they can spin around and get your fingers. Unlike the cobras, these fellas have got very, very, very short fangs. In fact, on a one this size, you can almost not see them. Just so tiny, it's not funny. And they also give tiny, tiny amounts of venom, only it's extremely dangerous. It's a very, very potent venom. Even though he's only about Two and a half feet long, you still kill you. If it can get through your skin, it's deadly. As simple as that. <laughs>